Today I talk about word of mouth, viral and buzz marketing, give you three examples that explain these concepts and let you go home with four lessons learned from this short video. Hi, I'm Uzi Gattaca, one of the co-founders of Dr. KPI. The first example, word of mouth, we know Alex from Target, somebody put his picture on Twitter, some friends reshared it, the news picked it up and the rest is history. Gangnam style video, tongue in cheek video, everybody wanted to share it and it went global. And Red Bull staged some jaw dropping events with pure branding and it might actually help sell product. But are we sure that we can always measure the outcome of such efforts? And does it always result in higher sales or new customer prospects? Before we can answer this question, we need to be aware of the fact that fun and entertainment or fun products work better with, the, with viral or buzz marketing or word of mouth than useful products or utilitarian products as research has shown. But nevertheless, we can take four lessons away from this. The first one is put your money where your mouth is like Red Bull does, spend 30% or more of your turnover on marketing and you will get some buzz. Like Ferrari does, take a nice beach, some nice looking young people and sunshine and your product and your video might go viral. Or as Coca-Cola can share with us from their internal experience and benchmarks, it might take more than 100 videos to have one go viral. And last, but also very important, size experience, it always takes some luck to have things go viral. So what does this mean for our business? Should we trust that things go viral, word of mouth spreading, or that we create some buzz? Well, maybe before we risk this, we should just continue focusing on satisfying current clients and hope that this will help our bottom line. On this note, I wish you happy benchmarking with Dr. KPI.